Hey, happy Friday, everyone. I'm excited to be with you today from my office here at home. And what I want to talk to you about for just a few minutes is something that's very exciting. We have an overcrowding problem in some areas, and our ministries are flourishing. In our youth ministry uh, this Sunday, we had 96 students, middle school and high school. Uh, and it just overwhelms that area in which uh, kids are taught and learn. Uh, in that same area, we have Celebrate Recovery Meets, and uh, it's grown to... It's way outgrown that room. And so we're just thrilled about Celebrate Recovery. Our women's ministry meets in that same space for their teaching time, woefully inadequate as well. Our children's ministry had 90 uh, kids, less than age five. But, you know, it's not about the numbers, it's about the people and the transformation. I wish I could share with you the text messages I received from people just talking about how their lives have been changed. And uh, some, you, some of you would begin to cry with me. You'd read these stories. And... What we are been working on is solution to some of these things, and we're calling it our Bridges Campaign. And uh, I just want you to think of a bridge as a metaphor for a bridge to the community, a bridge of hope to the hopeless, a bridge of healing to the hurting. And so not only do we want to create amazing community and um, those kinds of things inside our church, but we are all about reaching our community as well and building those bridges of hope. Christ is our living bridge, and we just want to be the bridge to people to introduce them to Christ. But anyway, we have this uh, urgency with these issues with overcrowding. And so I shot a little video this week about uh, just a little bit of a taste of where we're going with some of these things. And also a little update on the uh, volleyball, pickleball, and outdoor space, which we believe is a bridge to the community, but also would be used immediately by our internal ministries, youth ministries, adults, and so forth. So I'm very excited to show you this little video that I shot yesterday. Hey friends, I'm out here at the backyard of the church and I just wanted to show you some things that will be happening out here uh, sometime in the near future in the next few weeks. So if you look behind me, that's our annex building, which is on the north end of the property. And where I'm standing uh, between myself and uh, the building behind me will be a basketball court that will be uh, at times converted to two pickleball courts. And so uh, those courts will be used by people of all ages um, as well. So we're gonna put those in. And over here to give you a perspective is that ugly hedge and we wanna get that out of here uh, so people can see our back parking lot as well. And that's our annex building. So behind me is where a basketball court uh, will be. Now then let me turn around and that's the rest of the field there. Behind me that field is a real ankle breaker and the field will be someday in the future converted into nice usable um, uh, space for activities uh, such as uh, uh, kids in our youth ministry, maybe people in the community as well. So hopefully someday we'll be on that and you'll be seeing some results here soon as well. Hey friends, I'm standing here looking at the Grace uh, Playground, which gets used a fair amount by the preschool. And so we're going to be moving this to uh, to uh, closer to our children's area on the residential lot we own right next to the church. But I want you to picture this, that someday this would be transformed into a nice picnic area for gatherings at our church. And we have all the trees here for shade and so a much better situation. And then behind me is this big open field, which we hope to transform into usable space instead of an ankle breaker of a backyard. Hey, I'm standing over in the gravel parking lot of the church and behind me is a lot of our elementary uh, classrooms. And so we'll be expanding this area and there'll be 4,000 square feet of additional space on the first floor, which would be four classrooms. And then an additional 4,000 feet on our second floor. And in that second floor will be a teaching room that would have uh, maybe seen for 120 people comfortably, which can be used by high school, middle school, Celebrate Recovery, uh, women's ministry, and uh, conferences, small events in our community where we want to invite people from our community to be a part of, of uh, uh, be available to the community. And so we're really excited about what can be happening here in the future at Grace Community Fellowship. And so just want to give you a picture of that so you can literally see uh, what we're talking about. Behind me is our just our front yard, and eventually we'll turn that into a parking lot where, my, where I'm standing on the gravel um, and connect it to our other parking lot, which is sorely needed. Sunday, I walked outside and parking was so jam-packed that uh, there are people on the street parking right behind me Sunday 
uh, because there wasn't any room in our parking lot or this gravel parking lot. I hope you enjoyed the walk around with me and it gives you a perspective. Now we're gonna have a series of meetings coming up, so I hope you can catch one of those and more information will be coming about what we see for the future of Grace Community Fellowship. Thank you.